fans give a question. One of the most common questions I got was what's an animal where people should be most afraid of that they, they don't know? I think everyone thinks sharks and snakes. We all saw the way I was in your living room just now with the snake. Yeah. That, that I've heard you say on interviews, that's not what to be worried yeah. about. What, what should you worry about? Mosquitoes. That's the right answer. Do you Look at Joey Cole <laughs> cuts. Yeah. The talk, number one he, killer of all people. He fixed 100%. the part, huh? That's the answer. If you need an intern, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. That's the answer, man. Well, I'm not kidding. It's not the stuff that you can see that kills you. It's the parasites. It's the mosquitoes. It's it, Those are the dangerous Because you can't see it coming? You don't see I mean, I've sat in places where I kid you not, and this is not an exaggeration, I've had maybe eight to 10,000 mosquitoes on me at once. Now, Eight to ten thousand. Yeah, if you're wearing short sleeves, your arms go black with. You gotta be itchy the next day. It's afterwards. terrible. It's absolutely <laughs> terrible. I'm throwing a fit about a couple bug bites yeah, I just these, got. These it pearls by the pig. Yeah. 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 These creamy thighs are nah, you so better. Well. You're not kidding. But, these but, are no but here's the thing. If you so let's let's not like let's say it's it's two hundred, not eight thousand, right? Yeah. If one of those two hundred, one of those eight thousand has dengue fever, has malaria, you're done. That's it right? God. You could see the shark coming in the clear water. You could see the crocs sitting in the pond, right? You have to get in to fuck with those. You know where the lion's hanging out, right? You could pick up the snake or walk away from it. You can't get away from those mosquitoes, and you don't know which one of those 8,000 has malaria. Now, you got to probably keep very composed in a situation like that, because if you freak out, they'll probably bite even more, no? The mosquitoes? I mean, you know, we cover up, we wear bug spray, all that kind of stuff, but it's just like... Has there been a mosquito instance on, <laughs> on one of the trips where somebody had got it? On uh, the very first television show I ever did, um, my partner in the show, her name was Manu, she got hemorrhagic dengue fever, so that means her brain started to bleed to the point that she nearly lost her life. So she spent three weeks in a hospital after that, and that was just from a mosquito bite, you know? Is this is nothing. That's a shark bite, right? That was, yeah, I got lucky because it was a single tooth instead of my whole arm. But that was that was some duct tape, and I was working an hour later. Did right? the tooth stick in you? No, that was I pulled my hand back right at the last second, and, and just one tooth. Because you could have made me. like a necklace or something. <laughs> no, I got lucky. I mean, if I had waited another second, that would have been my whole hand, and I would have lost the hand for sure. Oh. But but my point is not that this is scary, right? That's that's what the result of a you know quick reaction of a shark bite is. The result of a mosquito with, with hemorrhagic dengue biting you is Manu very nearly lost her life. I was back to work 30 minutes later. I duct taped the stuff. So you go. did go right back to it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm in the middle. Of, I, was, I was 200 miles from the nearest coastline. Like, I'm not, you know, <laughs> taped it up. <laughs> I'm there to work. over here would have taken a two-week hiatus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you, yeah, you a little, little LOA for me or something. <laughs> that, that, so what about even, and the mosquito thing, and now that, you know, you explain it, that does make a lot of sense since yeah. you can't see it coming. What about something that you can see coming that I don't think you would be afraid of, but, but that is a, that's something to fear. Anywhere in the world? Yeah. There's something that you can see coming I am deathly afraid of. Like, I don't know. If, if you're not afraid of them, you're a freaking idiot. Hippopotamus. A oh, hippo? They're Hippos. humongous. I saw them at the San Diego Zoo. Those things are huge. And they're extremely territorial, extremely aggressive. They're a very nervous animal, so they're, they're on edge erratic a little bit? Yeah, they're very erratic. They're unpredictable. They are super... And people look at them, I think they think Fantasia, like the pink dancing hippo with the smile on their face. You have no idea how dangerous hippos are. They account for more large animal deaths in Africa than anything else. So the girl who hippos. said I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, she needs to retrain her wishes. Yeah, yeah. Her ass needs to get to the Zambezi <laughs> River in Africa and she's, think she, about that. She's going to be disappointed otherwise. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, 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 yeah, they're very, very scary animals. So is that an animal that you will not deal with? No, no, I've, un I've, I've unfortunately dealt with them many times. Of course you have. So it, look, for me, it's like the more that it pushes the boundary of misunderstanding the more I appreciate the animal, right? So taking the extinct, edge of extinct things out of the equation, common animals, right? I love diving with sharks. It's a fantastic experience. It shows the world that these animals, that when Jaws came out, we thought if you were even in the water near one, you were going to die. It shows the world that that's not the case. About six years ago, my, my cameraman and I created a documentary on swimming with crocodiles. We were one of the first people to ever swim with crocodiles without cages to show, look, these animals are just misunderstood. Yes, they're very dangerous, but in the right situation, they can be explored and enjoyed. 
Um, I don't encourage this for everybody by any means, but my point was just to show that these animals are misunderstood. Hippos are like in that same category, right? They're, they're very dangerous. They're very erratic. They're very moody. Nobody's ever swum with them successfully yet. Yeah. Um, here comes here. Oh, yeah. here, here comes forced. But uh, they're, uh, they're just, they're very, very scary animals.